Hi everyone, it's Corrie and today I'm going to show you how to put this haunted house candy holder together. So here we are with all of the pieces cut out. I'm going to start by showing you the back pieces. So the ones with the smaller hole are the back pieces and this one is the front and this one is the back. It has a straight edge and the reason for this is because the iris shutter sits in between these two pieces and I wanted to have the option of having the arm swing across this corner. This is the Irish shutter. It has a longer handle than some of my other designs. And there is a separate tutorial in the description below on how to put this together. These are all of the front pieces. It's basically one black piece of card with all of these little pieces added on top. I've used mainly holographic and glitter card for all of the pieces. We have um, a little delicate cut on the pumpkin. You could possibly cut this with uh, vinyl if you prefer. I've used Cricut Craft Board for the black. If you are going to use vinyl for this cut, I recommend um, that the orange that you put it on be a smooth card and that you possibly use a piece of transfer tape that you've already used before that just stops the card from tearing. We've got some small cuts here that will also go in the window again they could be vinyl if you prefer. So I'm going to start um, putting the front piece together and we'll talk more about the back pieces as we come to it. What I'm just doing here is um, I like to put all the pieces in place. It's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle um, because the design has that obviously like a little outline going all the way around it. And I just want to make sure I get everything in the right place before I start to glue things down. And I'm going to be using um, two different glues today. Um, my Beacon 3-in-1, which is my favourite. I will use that on most of the glitter pieces and then I'll be using this Zig two-way glue on things like the holographic or mirror card because I find that sometimes the beacon can stain that kind of card like from behind. It's hard to explain until you use it. So I'm just going to go along and put all of the pieces down. As I said, Zig for the holographic and mirror and beacon for the glitter. Now when we get to this piece, which has the circle in the middle, we just want to make sure that this circle is in the right place. So uh, we need to kind of flip it over and make sure those two circles are aligned because this is where your dome is going to sit. Okay, I'm just going to finish up the front. So these are all of our little pieces added onto the front. So I'm going to put those uh, out of the way to dry now and I'm going to move on to the back pieces. So I wanted to talk more about um, the fact that there's a different shape at the back. I always like the handle to swing on the right hand side. So in order to do this, I needed to just remove that pumpkin from the back piece. So I'm thinking like there, this is where it will start. And then this is where it ends when you open it. I didn't like the fact that it was going to be right behind that pumpkin. So I wanted it to kind of go like this. However, you could fit it across the bottom, which is much easier. And if you wanted to do that, you could cut two of the back pieces that have the pumpkin on. So what I'm going to do is put glue 
along this back. The back has the little tabs on it and place it down. As I said, it's up to you where you place it, but obviously if you place the handle at the bottom, then you won't be able to stand the, um, the house up if you wanted to do that. So once the Irish shutter is down and you've got the glue on, flip both pieces over and make sure that those two circles are aligned at the back. And then I use double sided foam tape all over this back area, avoiding this area where the arm will swing. The next step is to use the beacon 3 in 1 again and go around that outer ring again, just like we did in the first instance, and then we're sandwiching that Irish shutter between these two pieces. So just align it up in that center as best you can and around the edges and then give it a good squeeze. At this point I also like to check that the Irish shutter is still working okay because sometimes we get a bit of glue or um, foam tape in the wrong place and it can um, either make it stiff or block it completely. As I said, it, it's up to you what, what you want to do with the uh, where you put the handle for the Irish shutter. Across the bottom is fine, but then obviously your house won't be able to stand on its own. So. Uh, the next stage, I usually always put the front on and then I run my glue around this circle here. But because this is uh, like a mirror holographic card, I'm going to do it a little bit differently than I normally do. And I'm going to get a pencil and I'm just going to draw a line around this edge here. Remove the front. And then I'm going to put the glue around that circle. Then place the dome into the glue. And if you can leave it to dry for a while, that would be great. The next step is obviously to put the front on. Now you can either use this double-sided foam tape all over this area, which will give more of a 3D effect. Or you can just use the Beacon 3-in-1 glue. I'm just going to use the glue today for ease. Just place it on, give it a squeeze, and that's our finished candy holder. I hope you found the tutorial helpful. Please follow and subscribe. Thanks now, bye.